tempo that, like I said, Breeze allows for a lot more of that ascent, traditionally a much slower defaulty map. So definitely got my eyes on what they're able to achieve once again here on the defensive half. Well, we dive into this one. DRX on the attacking side, and it will be Leviathan on the defensive side. And that Straight hyper away. mobility, that instant proactive play, they're quick to it. But the site will be lost by this point. DRX keeping things simple. Straight in on the B site, it will be a post plant instantly. And this is the plan from the get go with that wall invested where it is. Just Look how early they are. They're coming straight towards Cannon already. All these steps going to be heard, though. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, the timing is dangerous now. Zest actually going to catch Shy first and foremost sleep, and he's going to keep going. This is lovely work from them. Big numbers found early for DRX here. This pistol looking a little out of reach for Leviathan. Those are in Adverso. Still connecting some shots here, but time is of the essence. It's starting to dwindle. Actually, already slipping towards the site, though. A little bit of problems could have occurred here. Couldn't quite catch stacks. And the time's going to get away from it first. So it's a 1v3. Any more damage would be nice. But again, good work from DRX to stabilize coming into map two. And a little too much focus there on committing to the flank. Not enough coming through from Tunnel. And I think actually DRX had fantastic information towards spawn as well. I'm sure if Adverso was tagged away initially, but appears as if they respected this setup. Nothing really going their way outside here. God, again, credit where it's due to Zest and Marco, really, to keep that in check. Nice. Total switch up here once again. Actually, it's four people from Leviathan prioritizing towards mid early on, looking for a pick. DRX is that a little deeper, and that's the... Marco will find the first on the back of the Trailblazer. Homework can only tell you so much about DRX. We've already seen the proofs in the pudding on map one that Leviathan can stand up to the challenge. But again, where do those options get really drawn from? Taco already going to connect towards Zest. That's not bad, but that now notes that presence towards middle, so they're going to be very cognizant of that going forward. And beyond Taco, obviously, it is Classics. So really, he is the only big danger man here. Unless they get a position that doesn't get checked or potentially DRX gets sloppy, the flash should give away enough. King unfazed by the first, but it's Marco to check. And so far, so good now after that one loss. Oh, the timing. Time in there, Buzz. I win again. Still a little bit of damage. It's a 2v3. Adverso trying to draw the attention. Keep that in mind as Tarko is building closer. Still being checked on, but good work from Buzz. Tarko very close towards the site. I think they've got an idea he could be close, but I don't think they think he could be this close. Already an opportunity here to reset after the plant. Tarko will spot him out. Three left in the headhunter, though. Three to find. See what damage you can do as well. Already two fallen for DRX. So, make this next round any more difficult here. But the spam comes through. Tacker down to 5 HP now. Just going to give it up. RB will find it. DRX at least stabilizing here in the early rounds. And the key things to look out for is how late that wall's invested. They're, they're anticipating a repeat from map one. Yep. Even though they put it behind them, definitely, <laughs> mentally. They're at least expecting this. Yeah, good beginnings for Buzz, Marco. Bear in mind, some of these players were sitting on, you know, the James Bond, the one frag. Very, very slow starts in that previous map. So for them already to come out and just start feeling out the game. It was shock and awe after that first map. But we are going to see the buy come in for Leviathan. Other side, of course, kind of cruising on the bonus. Not too bad, though. I mean, two rifles to yeah. kind of bolster this a little bit. And Marco down on the Sheriff. And committing to taking this opening duel though from Taco. It's a awkward angle to clear. Let's see what he can get for it. Taco gonna let the first in. He does actually look for it as well. Now he's in danger. Has to respect the follow-up. Give up at least that initial control on the site. High flash comes in. Shy's gonna get the flash through, but it's actually RB to burst on the site. Finds three for himself. Sweeps through the site, and now the spike should be able to go down. Just about getting away from danger. Barely alive. Buzz on one. And ooh. <laughs> it's getting precarious out here. Utility actually almost finding this kill onto RB, but 54 HP remaining. and he dips his toes once again, finds the fourth. Just leaving Melson out. Look at himself past though, he should be able to get this angle onto RB. He's actually oh, slipped through. Oh, I like this. Goes a little bit deeper. Oh. I thought that could have been it. That could have been beautiful work. 
a good attempt, but got to say it, RB this round. That's impact you need from him. Absolutely, comes through. Opens this site wide open. That's it, Shy just banking on Taco, finding something on, on the back down. of his flash, but RB flipping that one right back into DRX's favor. Again, initially, I mean, I mean the Vitan able to mitigate a lot of this utility burn up coming through the choke point. Mm. Taco just stays by. Again, the Trailblazer comes through the dash. He's got the drone to deal with, ops to shoot. None of them commit to trying to find one of those kills. He's pressured off it. Enemy suppressed. Here. Well, DRX can take this after finding a, well, a little comfort here, at least in the start of Breeze. Uh, it's good for the mental. Just that little bit of course correction. Just kind of, okay, let's just feel out the game. Get a little bit of safety behind us, and then we can start exploring a little down. more. Get a lay of the land. Viatin, still an unknown quantity. Coming to this in this purchase. I think to take lightly, kind of just playing this out with that lean towards the A site, the deeper push coming from Melza towards B. So potentially in the right place for it. DRX looking to try and keep things clean. Similar scenes, RB going to make it towards the site. And it's King. Finds connection, RB gone. More information was found and an attack found. Oh, that could have been a moment. But he's in danger. The flash well's timed. Oh, I thought there was a chance for it. Stax gets to keep his life. There's the chip damage. Any more to come through. Not just yet, but they are weak. They are the walking wounded, and Taco is still alive. There are still sheriffs out and about looking for the impacted verso. The timing almost had it now, does. Shy's got stacks. It's buzzed. It's Marco. And they need to dig their heels in and keep control of this round. Player standing. Oh, that actually swings out from that. Lucky not to get punished, but he's tacked down to 59 HP. At verso now. Sheriff in hand. Maybe just going to look to do some damage here, obviously, on the thrifty. Buzz will close things out. Very Finds his nice. third. DRX put their fourth on the board. Well handled in the end, but it got a little scary there. Oh, yeah. Especially with that chip damage coming through. I'm sure I noticed, I think it was Zest, actually, that was the one that managed to avoid that shock dart, but he mm. was already very low HP. Yeah, very much so. Four to zero, though. Buy it back out, and we do actually get to see Taco now with that upgraded look coming in with the operator. I do want to see how he looks on this map again. I think a lot of us were... Very impressed after map one. Well, a I new mean, name to add into the mix. The, the, the fact that Taco got the operator online so early on ascent as well was kind of where they were able to build behind that. The wind was in their sails at that point. Absolutely. So expect this to be the round potentially where Leviathan resort back to actively looking for these duels. I do want to see if they have any slight variation just to be cognizant of the fact that that operator is probably out. Oh, the mid-controlled work for early on as well from DRX. First time we're really seeing them vie for that pillar control, potentially building up towards elbow. Initially falling away. No real note of that operator just yet. It's holding a pretty passive angle, actually. This See him tucked up. In tube just outside the door. Again, we get past the 60-second mark, and DRX... No progress towards either side just yet. See so if we're going to try their luck once again I've got on A. Whether or not the door is open, we didn't even know that. From Taco's POV. The seek is sent out. It's not going to tell them an awful lot, but rough positioning notice. And again, this isn't great for Taco either. The site's going to have the plant coming in. Oh, be careful. You want to play? Keeps his life. Let's play. Oh, gets popped. They really want to secure this one in the post plant. No messing around here. And they've got good holds as well. They're not too pushed back just yet. But it is a 5v5 post plant. This is going to get messy. Shy is actually going to be the first to find one. RP still on 26 HP. Zest is on the way. Needs attention drawn elsewhere. Timing could be an issue. Let's see. It does get noted. It does get spotted. It's still going to get one. Darko with the trade, but now here comes the take. RB on the site. Only good for one himself. Can they at least find Melza, but it's traded out quickly. Buzz popped that out alt earlier. Marco trying to play time, and time is of the essence. Leviathan are running out of it. Chai going to get the frag, but it's all for nut. DRX going to carry on forward, and it did get messy, Mike, but it was their round regardless. Well, they got the benefit the economy as well. The ultimate's just about coming online for Leviathan in this round. Tour de Force here. Hunter's Fury as well. A lot burnt up from DRX at least. The Seekers to try and open that round up. The Bladestorm and the Tour de Force popped in the post plant, but 
Weizen yet to really have a say in these rounds. It's, it's fairly polarizing from what we saw on Ascent. At a much different pace than what I was expecting. Like I said, typically Ascent played out much slower here and Breeze, again, when you don't have the benefit they had from Ascent, which is the economy behind it and you know, being able to steamroll behind some things that offset that. Not really able to get too much going here on the defense here. It's, it's a good test of what this Leviathan squad can do. Now we've actually got a timeout coming in, right? We get to kind of see, okay, how do they deal with a little bit of adversity thrown their way in a matchup like this? DRX with a really strong start, five to zero. Some of the rounds were absolutely close, but the vast majority looking like they were kind of sewn up. And again, for me, this is now a little bit of a test of their depth, which is something that you have to keep looking at as a new squad coming into this to an international stage. How do they fare when they're under the gun? Because it's so much easier when you're having that perfect start, as you noted, with the economy being in your favor, the confidence starts to build, DRX look you know, shaken by it. it. Looks like DRX have woken up now. A bit more of a look of resistance to them at five to zero, and we come out of the timeout. So I have to see what Leviathan have come up with. We'll see what the next step for DRX is as well. It's talking about well, sending whether or not they resort back to a more choreographed approach. At least here, looking as if it's uh, fairly all in towards B. Impressive Saar, Taco. That's a barrel noted. He knows there's a player around here. Flash comes in, has to get out of there, but information found. It's not like he's irrelevant to the round just yet. Has to be cautious though, and it looks like DRX is going to pick up the pace in towards the side. RB was monstrous before, and it looks like he might be again. Taco needs to play his life. Can't hit the shot midair, but RB is reigning supreme. Beautiful work facilitating the plant, and we're into the post plant already. Comfortable setup as well. Verso just about now picking up the slack through arches, but should be picked up. I mean, RB respects it for the time being. I don't risk too much yet. Rifle found, Buzz finds it on the cross. Two more left. It's just King and Melsa. DRX. Comfortable hold now. I think King's even going to be given the consolation RB for the third and looking much better for these clearances. Again, many differences to how Leviathan are playing this out. Don't have that emphasis on either side of the map in terms of the defensive setup or looking to get proactive. Again, none of these massive factors that we were identifying on the in terms of the utility investment. Unfortunately, Taco just missing a couple of shots as well, which wasn't the case in Not map one. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as soon as that initial exchange kind of went the way it did with DRX taking the site, the spike down, that round was kind of wraps considering the purchase. Oh, invested. Melza. More of that standard start from DRX here, taking that mid control, starting to build up a little less one dimensional here. Contact found. Buzz going exploring. He's got some room to work with this. They have to navigate their way around this Viper's pit. The invest RB. Excuse me. Actually eating a ton of damage here in mid, but Buzz walking oh. all the way through still loses out to Adverso, though. An awkward engagement, to say the least. Now, actually, Viper's able to commit a third at least, but Adverso backing away just after getting the heal. Great timing on yeah. the flash. Flash will confirm presence outside B. And Taco this time not missing. Takes down RB and now shy on the docket. Has to deliver. Taco still by his side. It's a shutdown. Good control from Leviathan. Just controlling that chew push up really situated them well the rest of this round, leaving Marco. 30 seconds left. 1v5. Can at least cost Taco his life. But the operator can be recovered. Leviathan get to keep four up. Put themselves on the board as well. Beautifully considered. With the switch up here around the Viper's pit setup. Taco this time around does deliver with the first. That's a beautiful shot to RB. He's quite good at this game. The treat here with how DRX continue through this half. Well, not Leviathan actually. And now that they are on the board. We do see Taco look to explore a little deeper. He's going to swing out from B main here. Everyone on the other side of it. Like this. He's getting Ray opportunities. Again, another miss from him. Just to keep 
swinging though. No. And actually, Adverso oh. the one to punish RB. Again, it's RB that has to deal with the drone. There's, there's nobody there playing with it. I mean, Zest mm -hmm. potential line of sight to deal with that, but I mean, in the previous round, it was just notable damage. This time around, RB actually punished on the back of the tag. Take away some of the bite. From oh. Oh. Zest. Right here. Delete King. That was filth. <laughs> Way too early in the day to be showing that sort of thing. 4v4 now. Spike on route. Two players here. Quick rotation from Adverso, oh. but he's been handled. Mel's are the only one standing. Might have to try and just play his life to keep some position. Spike now can come in. And the ult invested too, just to ensure a little bit further safety. Should allow them to play pretty deep towards main as well. well even Marco actually is going to give this ultimate up. He's playing outside it right now. No flank coming through, but look how deep Stax is playing. Oh, oh Buzz. Lovely work, good positioning. The RX will go, got this one sewn up, but I think Leviathan have noted that. Want to keep that operator yeah. and rifle in the hand of Shy. Not worth overcommitting to this dead. now, but I think Stax is already going hunting. So let's see if he can actually cost them these weapons. He's going to hear the steps now. I mean, they can remove the operator. Be huge for them coming into the next. It's actually tackled all the way back to spawn. It will be noted here with the yeah. pressure <laughs> onto Shy. Stax finally cleans it up. He's got both. Find it He's as got well. both. That's huge from Stax to chase them down. Like I said, playing very late towards cannon just to protect the TP back towards mid. And no real threat on site. The RX is holding. Ah, she has the angle here. I mean, there's no way. No that, yeah, there's no way that Zest even has line of sight on that. Oh. This is a crazy thing. You see in some of these clips, it's like, these are the guys that just got absolutely rolled in the previous map. <laughs> Huh, Korean sounds real different today. Hmm. Uh, seven to one though. They have uh, kind of awoken the beast here. Leviathan have poked and prodded DRX to feel like they've actually leveled up a bit here themselves, bringing out a very strong game after that first map. Absolute shocker of a result. They go back in. The pace is uncontrollable. Stacks getting aggressive. Tag dump does get taken down, and the actually Melza. I thought the third could have even come through. Gets stopped at two, and Zest and Marco need to be very careful because it's still one on the side. The first has found one. Trade comes out. Zest now in the one v two. Oh, an easy position, but a little ahead there, untradeable. And Shy's going to get in the end. The HP very low for Zest, but a little nervous there. You almost think there with. This is the sort of thing we were talking about on Ascent, that as soon as that pressure comes through outside A main, GRX immediately respond, try and pick up the slack towards Tunnel, and actually stacks way ahead of expectations here to find the kill onto King. So we find the knock-on to him here. Melzo, unlucky not to find a follow-up kill there with the vulnerability. Provide them weather the storm there, get their second. And the Perch is going to suffer a little bit behind it. Just the headhunter for Taco. Guardian in the hands of King. They are so dead. I see Taco already retrieving the orb outside A, so total lack of presence here means that it's very, very deep control. I've got your this, is, this, this should be a very clear, concise picture being painted. How much can Leviathan do? Look at the pressure that's surrounding them. It's from all sides. And it's so beautifully done by DRX. Categorically taking the site and not missing a crumb of it. it it's Spike it's already planted. cooked. Oh, he spikes down ahead of the 60 second mark. This mid split just completely blindsiding Leviathan. Like I said, with just really Adverso being the one to play towards. That's a couple of rounds Leviathan have explored it. DRX have now identified that. They're trying though. to exploit it. What are you meant to do now? Just keep committing, I guess, yep. Again, yeah, nothing for it. Here. Well, try not loving life anymore. Buzz, just really making sure. Really, really. I mean, it's Taco. You've got to make sure he's down. You've yep. got to make sure he's down. Yep. Here. I think there's a player here. Um. Hmm. Shall I maybe just check the mini map real quick? Real quick. Yeah. Real quick. Have a have a little look. Uh. 
again, though, we, we have to come back to the scoreline. It's um, it's pretty dire for Leviathan right now. I mean, is it, again, to play devil's advocate, similar to what I was saying, you have to give context. So if, if it is just an anomaly, what we saw on Ascent, sure. it is massively concerned. There are regional losses for Leviathan. That obviously would be a concern coming in, playing against a team like DRX. Whether or not now DRX, are, maybe a lack of respect in the first half of that. It's hard to really quantify there once they consider the map is lost, whether or not they even really show anything else to us. Yeah, that, that's a conversation that, gosh, I mean, it's it's one to be had for sure because it did seem out of character, but again, then you, you'd feel you'd see some element of that being replicated here, but sitting at two to eight, very different scenes, and uh, this obviously opens up the discussion for the third map, which would be Haven, so it piqued my curiosity. Well, I mean, I'm just... <laughs> The same argument to make Haven one of the maps that's best to watch for some of this defensive proactivity. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, Levi exploring mid initially now, actually flashing themselves through shop here. Taco will find the here. first. RB will fall. Here. DRX immediately beelining towards the other side. And that retake set up here once again for Leviathan. Should be pretty easy to get site access here. The fury will slow things down. Uh, how is Shy here? Okay, thank God Marco's there. Just put Marco behind yeah, it, but three, protecting yeah. that use of the drone brings us to a 4v3 now for DRX. Trap destroyed. Nice. <laughs> Need three more of those. Here. It's now where down. there's someone on the other side of this. There's the reveal. We're still going to get done in. Buzz is down. Well. Adverso could actually get the drop on this too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, some crack showing here for DRX. It do make me a little worried at times, but again, fiery players for Leviathan, giving them a small window. Uh, I mean, a slight mistime, and their buzz is pinging for a flash to come through. I think it takes maybe an extra half second sure. from Stax's distance to that wall. He's just caught off guard, but last round before the switch. Maybe not going to have a, an adverse effect overall here with a five round deficit. That's fine. Even an 8 4 here would be a massive po positive for DRX after yeah, map one. For sure. Coming to the last, the uh, Viper's Pit. So, whether or not we're going to see that similar lean towards mid and, and B that we did see and that kind of committal to at least entertaining RB, right? Giving him an opportunity to find the open up. See, so actually, positioned here towards tunnel. Taco going to try and make use of this operator. And Taco's committing straight down. This could be huge. Did he know the player just goes astray? Has to relinquish that aggression and start now. And the commitment in the middle isn't really stopping. Oh, there. Another spot. Go again. Yeah. He <laughs> still eats some spam here, RB. Down to 73 HP. Teleport's ready. Reverse open. Really good for this chip damage on the back of his drone. And nobody really in a supportive system here for RB to find some space. We force back, pick up this heal. He's got no dash to enter onto B here, though. Taco posted up with the operator. Just Actually, no smoke elbow. left either. He's only got an updraft. So RB trying to work his way in. Taco needs to do well here. Shy at the back of the site actually succeeds against RB, and Taco's still going to be fine. Doesn't get too much pressure his way just yet, but with Shy falling, the site's looking lost. Spike can go down, but support's on the way. It'll be tricky to dig these players out of these post plant positions, but they certainly have the possibility. Still utility with King. Flashes are plenty. Versa with a little to work with as well. They need to get a wiggle on now. Time ticking away here. Just maybe waiting on the recon to come through, but... What are you going to tell them an awful lot? Adverso is going through Taco as well. Going to find one. Good flash, good trade. King still kept them in this one. Buzz and Marco locked out from the site for now. Having to kind of play third party to this. Sprays in and actually connects. Takes down Buzz. Did not get it to halfway. The reveal. It's not pretty for Marco. He has to stabilize. And the fuse is going to come through. And I'm pretty sure they got that in the bag. It's a small window of chance. But Leviathan getting four gives them a little bit of hope here. Switching yeah, a potential here for DRX in some of these rounds, losing composure once again, or maybe just letting their foot off the gas. Because some of these conversions that should be there from the post part just aren't, Lauren. Yeah, and DRX looking better, but certainly not cured of the initial issues. Leviathan still in this game at 8-4. Desk, your thoughts, please.
Thank you so much, Pansy and Hypoc. And yeah, I mean, now here we are, right? Uh, you know, Leviathan really able, Josh, to bounce back after a very difficult uh, half of the half, right? Like it was uh, <laughs> the first quarter. The first quarter, if you will. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was very clear that like DRX had their number multiple times there. They definitely did. And I think from Leviathan's perspective, the map is much bigger. They can't run and trade for each other. You didn't yeah. see that same kind of sprinting across and helping out. Uh, and they just weren't able to adjust quickly enough. The final few rounds where they played retake, that worked for their comp. And it's nice that we can champion Leviathan map number one, and then I can come into map number two and be like, oh my god, DRX are back, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not going to be this one-sided affair that we predicted it might be. And this man on your screen is a man that we keep bringing up. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Map number one, you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, or rather the right-hand side, but the left column there of where, how he performed 80 ACS in that first half. Look at what he's done in the first half of this map. It is an incredible glow-up. He understands what his job is, and he gets a bit more breathing room on to do it. Yeah, he's also playing much more confidently, very aggressive. And I said before we went in, he has to be the person that applying pressure to the initiator yes. players, updrafting into them, dashing into them. I feel like he's really doing it here. But because the map's bigger, he's just not getting hit by as much detail yep. as well. That's what it is, breathing room. It felt like he was suffocated on map number one. Now he has more room to play with it. Now that he is, it looks so much more RB-like on land now that we've got him here. Now that Leviathan, though, have managed to get four rounds, on their attack side, the amount of utility they have is going to allow them really easy mid yeah. control so i'd love to see rb get aggressive on either side of the map push b main push a main i think those are going to be key areas but do you think that there's a potential that they are anticipating that though right that they think that maybe, sure. maybe hey you know we're going to have all this access maybe uh we anticipate rb maybe there's a counter to that for the drx side maybe they let them take it but have a secondary redundancy plan awaiting for them when they try and strike on the side all right guys well we're going to send it back over to the casters to steer us for map number or side two go ahead guys that was a terrible toss over here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't win them all. You don't win them all. But uh, you, you're doing all right. Don't worry, GB. We, we love having you here. Um, let's get back into the game, though, right? Because it is 8-4. Um, I, I kind of thought this was trending back to the traditional, right? The, the sense of normality that we were going to expect from DRX. But then the last couple of rounds, oh, they got a little, little something going on here. We at least have an opportunity here to at least test the depth of some of this attacking structure from Leviathan as Early on, what a beautiful set piece here with some of the utility coming through. If Leviathan can find any kills on the back of it, RB stands his ground though. And I don't know how, but he's still fragging him and stacks in combination. <laughs> Lock it down. DRX mean business now. Whole different look to them there. And you're right, I have no idea how RB was alive after that fight. No, I mean, he should have fallen the first. Ends up getting three here on the pistol against him. Support coming in from Stacks as well. It looks like a very well coordinated hit. I mean, even coming down, bailing Stacks out here yeah. for the second. We're talking about needing some confidence boosters, and that's the way to close out the pistol around in the second half. He's sure if we have a translator on site, but, um, He's been on the Duolingo, he has. Not Spawn. Um, right. Well. That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say shut up mm. uh, in? <clears throat> right, anyway, uh, four to nine as we stand. Um, bit of a weird start. Just a, a sharp reminder, I feel. Right and stacked up, though. All be invested. Cross over here, Adsley, and look at the utility coming through from DRX there. Oh. Shock dart and the snake bite coming through. I'm going to reposition here, isolate one ahead of the wall. The spam coming through um, Zest, that's the one to come out on top of that though, Shai. Or full. Ta Taco, Taco's still they're, doing, they're work, still doing damage, they're still doing damage. Don't think it's over here, they know where he is. Taco, oh, just does the dance and stacks a little too quick on his feet. But Melz has got a bulldog recovered. Doggo ain't got all that info. Fuzz, I don't think gave away his position. I don't think he'd been noted just yet. Targo hadn't got to that part of the fight. Just noting stacks and considering this more than enough. Mauser needs 30 seconds left. to find one of these two. I mean, stacks needs bailing out once again here. He's the low HP. Oof. Buzz will find him. Nice work from Buzz. It made him sweat though. Got Danger. interest in there with, uh, initially with DRX. A massive advantage in terms of finding the kill ahead of that wall. The taco still present. You know, numerically here, not reflecting his map one performance. Nine and 13 here on Breeze. Still putting in work for Leviathan. 
Now oh, this is a round, isn't it, really, that needs to start cleanly for Leviathan in my mind. If they do want to really make a a proposal for this map being close. DRX do a load of damage, still looking competitive. Um, you know, map three looking pretty much there. But ten rounds, double digits coming in. Tarko, let's see what we can do here. I want to start building those first couple of steps in towards two, but it's not like they're not being proactive towards middle. Deploying drone. DRX conceding some of this space, at least early on, but slowed down by some of the utility being invested now by DRX. Stacks and Buzz actually going to retake. Back outside tunnel. I'll be dancing with death here. Don't First to jump, Oof. peak. Again, actually just misses the dash as well. I think he expected to be able to dash backwards through double doors there, but we'll survive on 80 HP. Position noted, Taco still trying to find space through tube. Gotta be careful here because Marco actually playing on back site and one player behind yellow. Gonna be difficult to counter that pressure, but just a little bait and switch here to get the door open. We'll TP off. Yep, we still need to get past that first hurdle that is RB. Not gonna be checked on. No, very much checked on now. RB would be lucky to keep his life and he doesn't. Marco. Already found on the site itself. Leviathan yet to fully cross. That's a little dangerous, King. Hive to hand, and now Zest gets a shot at this one. It's cleaning up in the end. And actually, DRX making a real go of this. This is a problem. It's all falling to pieces here. As they're tucked on the site, there's no time. This is wraps. This is looking like DRX have stabilized. Taco has to respect this. He can't do any more. Wow, 11 to 4 now. Yeah, it's scrappy on site here. It's Leviathan almost hesitating to force the issue behind this wall. And actually, this was RB with a massive oversight. Out of, well, I assume oversight. Plays this one and done position and doesn't have the dash, just has the updraft. It's the Trailblazer and the drone coming through at the same time. So Leviathan almost get what they want coming through here. And actually, to be fair, Zest is just alive for what feels like 10 minutes longer than he should be. Reinforcements come through from Marco. And rightfully so, yeah, Leviathan going to call the timeout here. Because they're in a weird spot. DRX now on 11 rounds. They have the rifle saved across from Taco, but three away from his tour de force. Nothing really to bolster this. Going to be looking like light shields and a sheriff. So potential here for DRX to find map point. That same bite, that same ferocity just hasn't been here for Leviathan, especially coming into this, a massive deficit on the second half here where they have to attack it. Uh, this is the sort of thing we were talking about. It's so hard to maintain that pressure and that, that momentum here when you just don't have the financial buffer. Yeah, it's 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 going to be an issue going forward as well because we, we don't know Leviathan as, as comfortably as we do DRX. It's how it shakes down, right, with experience. But Leviathan, again, here, unable to really facilitate what they need to springboard back into this game. So... DRX going through the motions, it feels like, to take us to that third, which I'm more than happy to see. And a wake-up call. A little bit of an alarm rang for DRX after that first map. And I've got to say, I loved that synergy from Leviathan on map one. That was something I loved about it. It felt like you're never fighting alone. There's always layers to it. The you know, synergy between the side was formidable, but now not, not quite to the same degree, and DRX looking like a different beast altogether. We go back in at 11 to 4. And you're right, it is light armor, it is sheriffs, and, well, king with a rifle. I see Taco passing it across. We'll retrieve the orb outside A and shop. Trying to kill or two. We have to get it online here, Buzz. Too far. Ready to try and defend Tube, though. Taco doesn't give him a peek. That's an almost anticipating a little aggression here from DRX, but look at the minimap. Look how. How much respect they're paying here just to play deep, forcing Leviathan to explore basically the entire map to look for this first blood. And rightly so, we have been seeing a notable amount of those. Uh, I mean, DRX's anti ecos on Ascent were uh, abysmal, yes. so it, it's great has it, to be It's done. great to see that step change. Yeah. Again, no proofs in the pudding. No early success, though, here for Leviathan, looking to maybe catch people out of position, but again, the flash is kind of telling a story. And I don't think they get the information they wanted here. RB a little uncomfortable, the stack's still standing, gonna find King, gonna find the follow-up, Melts are down anymore. Oh, he's got more stacks, making it look comfy. Four standing, 12 achieved. DRX back on track. 
Uh, there's just no pop to uh, some of these hits towards site, and DRX able to just honestly just just stand tall at the, at the front door. Stacks and RB again, not feeling an awful lot of pressure behind that, even with the utility investment. And a little off timing here when the dart comes through and the knife goes through, it's uh, they can turn comfortably shoot it. There's there's no attention drawn from that choke point. Tough times now for Leviathan. Only four beside them, not making impact in this half at all. DRX. Looking like the team we expected to see at the start of the day. Showing face in second map. And Buzz going walkabouts. No one really to greet him on this side of the map. RB as well. Look how deep he's down right. tube already. Good note. RB's exploration mission could prove <laughs> fruitful or could prove a disaster. Uh, Mel's is going to get that and now it could be the go signal. Let's see what they do with this now. It does seem as though the pace may be picked up off the back of this. Seeker's going to go in. And similar scenes. We've seen this before. It didn't go well last time. Let's see if that's improved. Second that snake mid. bite actually sent through here. Stacks Spike is should have heard that, but Spike actually down won't. A. Actually, if I get flanked through here from mid, actually Shy and Mel's are the ones to find the kills. Taco looking to progress even further as the plant comes through. Yeah, plant down. Zest and Buzz. Buzz already making a little bit of progress One closer, but Shy's going to catch him. And Taco looking like he wants to try and find that final play up. Zest tries to just escape more than anything. Actually, an operator recovered too. That's not bad. For Leviathan to really keep four lives here. Zest take one away. Go with that operator. Finds the trade quick enough. Leviathan up to five now. And on the back of RB, looking at, uh, again on this mission here, he drifts right in. Leviathan slow down the early round a little bit. And they benefit from it. Oh, yeah, Taco and Melsa do have their ultimates up here. So they can get themselves onto site, get this Viper's bit set up. Looks as if it's uh, a little pacier towards A here. Yeah. Taco desperate to try and get this door open as quickly as possible. Absolutely pacier. This time RB. Here's the commit, and this is much better timed. Dips through the wall, just right, pops the all, and he carries on further forward. He wants to get right above the thick of it, he does. A stray dagger just slices the throat of Adverso, and now you're down to three. Taco, yes, quick progress, but all for naught, it feels. This time, what can Taco do with this? Shy and uh, Mauser, they're, they're tucked in. They can't really cleanly make it through. Maybe, no, Zest, perfect timing. And this is DRX looking so much better, so much more in control. Yeah, I'll be actually Here. trying to spam a couple of audio cues. Almost bait Melsa to shoot him, but the Viper's bit doesn't actually cover them onto default, so they have to find the kill. Melsa will be traded. So on the superstar from map one, Taco to keep this going. DRX looking to close this out and just get to the third, get away from that disaster of map one. The Viaton going against the odds. Darko would have to do it again. 30 seconds now to work out a miracle. It ain't gonna happen, lest you forget this is DRX. Favorites at times, finding the composure we know that they have.